good morning. It's a beautiful day and in this video we'll be talking about food in Eastern China. My friend Anna is going to help me. Anna, you want to say hi? Hi, my name is Anna. China is the fourth largest country in terms of area after Russia, Canada and United States. So you can imagine the variety of food that you can see in this country. You know, growing up I thought that Chinese food would always be like simple boiled or steamed. And little did I know that most of the foods here are all stir fried. And it was only after I came here I discovered that you know China has got one of the spiciest cuisine as well as uh, sweet ones. Uh, starting from Chongqing which is famous for the hot pot and towards the eastern side where the food is quite uh, sweet. What's this called? Mi gen. Ah. Mi gen. Mi gen. Okay. What's this? So, so this is rice packed in leaf. Sticky right? rice. Sticky rice. Mm -hmm. This is cha ye dan. Okay. Tea. With tea. Egg boiled tea and... soup. Tea soup. Egg use... boiled and tea, right? Yes. Use tea soup to. What about this one? Tofu nao. Okay. What? Tofu. Baozi. Baozi. Okay. Hey, thank This is called mi gen. It's a traditional Chinese food and it's made of tofu, fiddle head. This is a from pig, I don't know. <laughs> pig, pig in this kind. And what's this? Macho. So this is sticky rice fried and then you put on some sesame seeds on the outside. Uh -huh. uh, it's and a inside bit... some Red beans. Inside. Red beans. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, I see. Okay. What's this one? This one. 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 This This one. This Traditional special pancake. Uh, outside is wheat flour, inside is some vegetables and uh, tofu. Hello, I'm Angela. This is a fried breadstick called the Yu Tiao. Uh, is it sweet or? Um, actually, no taste. No taste. Mm. <laughs> Better than KFC. <laughs> So we Actually, usually if you eat uh, much, oh. you will become fat. <laughs> <laughs> and do we eat this for lunch or breakfast or dinner? Mm, bread. Breakfast. And now what's this? Fat gong. In China, we call it fat gong. Okay, so this is um, fermented traditional uh, Chinese breakfast and this is like rice powder. This one is um, fermented so, uh, bamboo shoot and this is mushroom. I'm on my way to buy lunch and today we're trying something called malatang. So basically how this works is they place all kinds of vegetables and meat and then we get to select whatever we want to eat. Now after we select it and choose the items that we want to eat, they will put it in a pot uh, boiling, a big boiling pot of uh, soup. Mix the vegetables and the meat with these masalas and you get malatang. So this is called liang pi and it's cold rice noodles. There's another uh, interesting thing in China where they call the um, Kuai Jian. They display all the types of curries that we want to choose. It's more like a buffet, but the difference is that you get to select only three or four items that you want to eat. 
这是什么？这个支台，斜支台。支台，这个。The interesting part is the pricing system. So there are two ways. In some of the shops, the prices of the food depends on the food that we select. However, in some of the shops, it is fixed. For example, in the shop that I went to, I get to choose four dishes, and I have to pay a fixed of one five fifteen RMB. But it's for people who are working and single. But I like to call it lazy people's. Go to shop like me. Those are some of the food that I've tried so far. Some taste really great, some not so. For example, like tofu. I really like normal tofu. It's an acquired taste for so many foreigners, but with me, I clicked instantly. But at the same time, there's something called stinky tofu, and it's horrendous. I cannot digest that. There are so many other food that I want to try. Different ethnic communities that are spread across this country have their own unique way of cooking. And whenever I get the opportunity to travel to those places, I will be doing a segment on food. You can also let me know in the comments what food you want me to try. I will do some research and will make an effort to make videos on them. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for supporting and sharing the videos. Continue to do so. I'm really humbled by your love and your encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the video. Signing off for the day. Bye, Jian.